One of the most important and worthwhile pleasures in life is that of sharing. Be it walking together, eating, playing an awesome video game, or showing a loved one what it's like being a game developer. A glimpse into the rich world of creation where universes can be built, stories brought to life, armies delicately rendered, the list goes on and on. Games and their development is such a vast and textured landscape that making them is just a stunning journey which anyone who hasn't attempted couldn't possibly imagine what it's like. So while I'm stuck at home with a bat fever and a cough, my brother Liam is going to share his love for the craft with his girlfriend Elodie. Of course, he'll only be able to scratch the surface in a day, but hopefully they have fun and get you eager to also share your work or hobby with a loved one. Hey guys, what is up? I'm Liam from Blackthorn Prod, so I'm an indie game developer, and in this video, I'm going to show you basically a little behind the scenes video of what I do in a day. So today is Saturday, so it's going to be pretty chill, but we're going to still get some things done. I'm currently with my girlfriend Elodie right here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get some breakfast. I'm currently living in the southeast of France in a city called Nice. Let me show you the view, guys. So today I'm going to be helping my girlfriend to create her very first uh, game in Unity. Uh, she wants to join the Blackthorn Pro team and start to create games. Eh? She doesn't have any experience. She's not cool. She's not to draw anything. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not. But uh, that's a challenge. We're just going to try to get her uh, up and running with her very first game today. I'll be here, the best shooter on the internet. <laughs> We're now going to go to the gym and hit a nice fresh session. Very important to stay active, especially us game developers. We sit down a lot during the day. That's what we're going to do right now. Yeah. Alright guys, we've got some groceries for lunch. We're going to go back to our place now and Thanks. get some work done before. Alright. Now uh, my girlfriend is going to actually create her very first Game, are you excited? Yes. We're gonna create a thing, a basic top down shooter. That was the first game I ever made with my brother. For nostalgia's sake, we're going to create a top down shooter. So, a very simple. You learn about movements, you learn about uh, having enemies, attacking. Let's go, let's go. So, open up Unity. So, yeah, my girlfriend is French, so, so if she has an accent or if she doesn't talk too much, it's because she's French, so. A little bit harder for to speak, but you do understand. Creating a new project always takes ages. All right, so we're in Unity now, Elodie. How does it look? Does it look scary to you? Oh. It's quite simple, yeah? It's not, there's not too much going on. We're going to start off by creating our little queer character, and we want him to be able to move around in the scene with the arrow keys. Okay. All right, so we're going to create a square. So you're going to come in here and go right click. Okay. Now we're going to select the player and we're going to go to add components and we're going to create a script that we're going to call player. So double click on it here to open it up inside of your text editor. In our case, that's Visual Studio. <laughs> Alright, so this is what a script looks like by default, okay? Alright, so in just a couple of minutes, you've got your first character moving in your scene. Was it hard? No, it was simple, uh, but the uh, victim of me was... Yeah, the regular three things a little bit complicated, but you understand a little bit better now, yeah? What do you want to do now in the game? Add some enemies, maybe? Yes. Okay. Alright, so now we've got our enemy that's following the player around, and when the enemy touches the player, the enemy dies, and the player takes one damage. Alright, so we've advanced very well already. We're going to take a little lunch break, and then we'll continue this epic game. Spaghetti with a nice tomato sauce. And uh, so, <laughs> all right. So, quick little update. So, we now have our player that can rotate with the mouse, and that could shoot in the direction of our rotation. All we have to do to almost complete this game is to have the enemies spawn around the map. Just to burn my. Oh. So, how was this challenge? Did you like uh, game development? Did you like creating this game today? Yes, it was good. Yeah. Uh, so. Do you see yourself creating games in the future? Uh, would you like to continue developing this uh, game creation skill and create beautiful worlds? Uh, I don't really like the code. The coding side, yeah. Yes. So that's what I was saying to, to my girlfriend. There's so many different domains in game development. Uh, I mean, art, programming, music, game design, everything. So you don't need to like everything. Yes. Uh, you just need to like one part. Of course, it's good to, to have a good, a solid foundation in everything. Very important and last question, what would you tell to our subscribers who are scared to, to just like to start creating games 
and just give them a little bit of motivation. Uh, it's not complicated if you have a teacher like Liam. <laughs> You guys don't have an awesome personal teacher like Liam though, but you can find him in our five Dina courses on Udemy. Here we teach you how to make action games, platformers, online multiplayer games. If you want to learn game development, just go here. Links are in the description. Subscribe. Subscribe. Like, like the video. And comment. And comment the video. Exactly. <laughs> comment guys if you want to see more of uh, Elodie. Uh, in this video, if you want to see her journey to becoming a better and better game developer, that could be actually quite a good series. Start from noob to pro game developer in six months or something like that. Alright? So, uh, thanks guys.